Cooking with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious and creamy flan. It's a flan made of café de olla. And I know that you guys are going to love it and enjoy it with your family. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. vanilla extract this vanilla extract is made at home and you guys already have that delicious recipe on my channel so let's get started and let's make this delicious cafe de olla flan i want to start by adding my granulated sugar to my saucepan let's take it to the stove we want to cook and dissolve our sugar and it really doesn't take too long before it starts melting and becoming caramel nice and golden brown do not leave your pan because your sugar can easily burn it really doesn't take too long for the sugar to start melting and start getting this beautiful caramel color nice and golden brown well this is done have ready your mold we're going to go ahead and just transfer all the caramel inside and be careful that you don't get burned the caramel is really hot and you want to turn your mold around so all the bottom is covered with this delicious caramel here i have my blender cup and i'm going to add my cream cheese remember that your cream cheese and your eggs need to be at room temperature when you are baking i'm going to start adding one by one my eggs and i like to do it this way just in case one egg comes out rotten i don't have to throw everything away so i like to do it one by one until i am completely done adding the five eggs this cafe de olla flan comes out so creamy so delicious that i know that your family is going to love this delicious cafe de olla flan i'm gonna go ahead add the the cafe de olla add my evaporated milk and i'm going to add my vanilla extract we're going to go ahead and blend it until everything is nice and incorporated. It really doesn't take too long before everything incorporates completely. Let's go ahead and blend it. delicious what well, this is a great dessert okay now that everything is nice and blended i'm going to transfer it to this larger cup and the reason that i am transferring is because i need to add my condensed milk and i want to make sure that i add all the condensed milk and then incorporate it completely into the rest of the ingredients this really this step is really important because you want to make sure that the condensed milk is completely incorporated. I added it to my baking dish and now I'm going to cover it with foil paper. I have preheated my oven to 350 Fahrenheit. I'm going to go ahead, put it in there. Do not open your oven. Do not, you know, open your flan. Let it cook for 90 minutes once it's cooked for 90 minutes let it rest and come down to room temperature now i'm adding some water because this is how we are making this delicious cafe de olla flan when it comes down at room temperature we're gonna put it in the refrigerator leave it in there 
for just a couple hours. Okay, it has become now at room temperature. Let's take it to the refrigerator. After a couple of hours, let's see how the flan came out. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. Look how beautiful it came out. To tell you the truth, you could just put it like this and it's done. Of course, that I want to add a little decoration to this delicious flan. And I'm going to add some coffee beans covered with chocolate. Look at this. This looks amazing. I really can't wait to taste it. Look at this. It's really so creamy. The taste of the cafe de olla, it's not overwhelming. It's just great. Well, I have my piece here and I can't wait to taste it. It looks very delicious, nice and creamy. And I am ready for the presentation. I'm ready to taste this cafe de olla flan. See you in a bit. done with this delicious cafe de olla flan and of course I had to decorate it with these coffee beans covered with chocolate but this is the part I really love and enjoy tasting my recipes let's see how this came out it's nice and creamy it smells really good and I wish you were here to taste it with me excuse me mmm mmm the flavor of the cafe de olla, it's so intense, so delicious, but yet not overpowering. Excuse me. Mmm. Definitely a very delicious flan made at home. Remember, when you cook with love, everything comes out delicious. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, Share my video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated so every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying this delicious, creamy, Café de olla flan. See you on my next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.